I tried to jump in front of the L train a week after that man was elected. I can't explain it. It's like my brain was an electric rail vibrating, or my skull its own train car. Loud hurtling hurt object caught between one stop and the next, and in that moment, all I wanted was quiet, was for the small god of that Manhattan-bound train light to swallow me. So I stepped out over the ledge into our impossible ghost shit darkness just to feel a hand grip my jacket, pull me back onto land. Careful, kid. Careful. You almost went all the way in. All the faces on the platform were like mine, were like sunflowers bent to the ground in mourning, or alternatively were joy rats, were businessmen in expensive suit jackets laughing into headpieces about what money can be built off suffering today. I can't, I can't explain it. I mean, it's not like this was my first time trying to die. I am a grown up. <laughs> I've had a long life of wanting to not be alive trying to extinguish myself like a lit match again and again, only to find the casket filled with gasoline. The first time I was nine, hurled my forehead into the corner of a solid oak table, loud, hurtling, hurt object. It's just been a long time. Now I pay my rent, my insurance. I facilitate writing workshops about staying alive. The term ideation comes from popular psychology, it is an abbreviation of suicidal ideation, means imagining yourself, ending yourself. After that man was elected, I saw my body dying ahead of me everywhere I went, thrown in front of buses, forehead split against a police barricade, hurled from the lip of a bridge. I can't, I can't, I can't. Maybe it's time for a more inventive kind of ideation, like free milkshake ideation, or no prisons ideation or a f future where my friends sprout wings and grow a crown of flames. Maybe we don't have to explain it. Maybe this life is just a train caught between stations and our friends are the people we're lucky enough to ride with. I have been so lucky. I have always had a hand there to pull me back from falling all the way into my own darkness. Dear friends, I'm learning to be careful, I promise. Dear death, if I end me, it won't be like this, hurled sloppy across four lanes of traffic. Nah, I'll be a storm gathering her gowns at the White House. I'll be a kitchen knife against that man's neck. I'll be slow, I'll be patient, I'll be serrated.